it's Elizabeth from the Toy Hoarder. Today I have a new luggage set of Disney Adorables. Guys, I love the packaging that they are doing on some of these exclusives. I hope they do some fun stuff. I know that Let's Go, that are the initial series, come in what looks like a little plane and it even has the tail fin of the box. This one is another Let's Go set but it is the Let's Go Ultimate Vacation set. And this box looks like a suitcase. It's even got the handle. And the way that you open it is this adorable little zipper that is perforated around the side. So hopefully this will go well opening it. I mean, it looks like a cute idea, but it could go really poorly. I'm remembering doing the zipper things on those little, what are they called? Zuru surprise ball things and all, the, all those little teeny tiny toys. And those are such a butt to get open, so. Yeah, hopefully that won't be bad again, but let me show you the up close of this box. Super cute. It looks like one of those luggage things that's got the little buckle straps on it. We've got several of the characters on the front. We've got a little luggage tag that says uh, the exclusive information. So there's 16 total figures in here with one of them being an exclusive vehicle, 10 of them being let's go figures, and six of them being exclusive figures. So I'll show you on the back what those exclusives will look like. There's also an exclusive postcard in here, which should get really interesting. <laughs> Here's the whole back and then I'll show you up close. So here's the regular Let's Go series that come in the different getaway series. And here are the six exclusive things that you can get. So it looks like all Mickey and Friends things from New York. And so we've got a New York postcard. We've got a taxi cab, which is kind of funny for New York. And then we've got all of these guys with New York type stuff. We've got Minnie Mouse has her Statue of Liberty. Goofy has pizza. Donald just looks like an angry taxi driver. He may be the taxi driver one. Pluto has a hot dog. Mickey has an I Love New York shirt. And Pete has, uh, it looks like more like a hot dog salesman thing. So super cute little things that are all specifically New York. I haven't seen all of the exclusive ones yet. So I think there are other sets that are like this, but this was just too cute to pass up, right? Okay. So I'm super curious. I want to know. Also, I haven't been able to find any of the vehicles yet. And this pack comes with one vehicle. So I get to see the vehicle. I hope that the wheels roll and that it's really cool. So yeah. Okay. Here's the edge of the zipper. I don't know how you guys, you can, I don't know how well you guys can see this, Ugh. but I have already ruined it. No, I really wanted this to go well. I can't, <laughs> it, they glued it down right at the end so that you can't, uh, there we go. No, the zipper idea is going so poorly. No. I want to cry forever. Why is this so hard to do? Guys. Is it is it because it's too thin? Is it because you're gluing them down? Like what is the problem here? Just play. <laughs> this is this is even harder to open than the other ones. Okay. This came covered in plastic, and I took the plastic off before I showed it to you guys so that this would not be um, an issue. And the thing is, I'm going to have to just, like, tear the box apart because I can't get it open. I'm so upset. This is terrible packaging design. I'm so upset. Did no one test this when they made this? Were they just like, oh, that's cute. Okay, put it on the shelf. I mean, come on. This is a big company. They have to have someone who tests this stuff, right? And who's like, you know? Okay. If they don't and they need someone, I will volunteer to do this because I am just so frustrated and there have to be people who are more frustrated than I am at this. I'm giving up on that end. This one's glued again. Come on guys, when you do that much glue, you can't get this thing open. So you can't do this fun zipper thing. Also, do not give this to your kids to open. They are going to be so upset. I would be so upset. I am so upset, and I am not a child. I might as well be, but, you know, that's not the point, right? Goodness, I can't. My fingers hurt, and I still didn't get it all. Okay, then what? What is it? Guys, I don't know. Does it not actually open from the zipper? It says, unzip to unpack the fun inside. So then, like, you should be able to, like, open this piece, right? You have to still un- unglue all of these pieces, I guess. Well, here's the first 20 minutes where we unbox this stupid thing. Come on, man! 
We're, we're almost there. I take, I put, okay, if you want to save the box, don't attempt to open it however you're supposed to open it, I guess, because this is now destroyed. It was a super cute thing, and I would have kept adorables in this, possibly the vacation ones, but now it's ruined, and I'm upset, and I won't buy another one because it's going to have the same toys in it. So, like, thank you, Just Play, for ruining my evening. Okay. All right, I got it open. I did it. I didn't know I could do it either. All right, guys. Here it is, it's finally open. It looks really similar to another one that they had. I think this was um, maybe like a Series 7 Ultimate Peak or something that was at Target. I don't know, you guys. Um, all right, so in this little baggie that was attached to the front with tape, we've got our Let's Go guide, which I'll just show you real quick here. It's got all the different types of getaways here instead of being sorted by franchise, which is a little bit interesting. That's a new a new thing that they're doing, at least with the Let's Go series. And it also shows, I think, the postcards on this side. Yes, and the exclusives. Oh no, sorry, the postcards aren't on that side. Well, that's interesting. I guess instead of putting the postcard section, they've got the exclusive section. I oh, that's weird, guys. So now you need two checklists? I don't know. Can't handle that. Okay, here is the New York postcard. Super cool. And there's stuff on the back. It says Disney Dorables, let's go. And it doesn't necessarily look like this is part of the map. I don't know. I don't know if this messes up the part of the map when you have to collect all the map and postcard pieces. I don't know. I also don't know how to put them all together after that. Maybe I can like laminate them. I... Guys, I don't know. I'm so, I'm so stressed about it. One of my figures fell out. No, go back. Okay, sorry. I'm good. I'm good. I can totally handle this. I put this with my other postcard. Okay. So it looks like the ones that are visible are probably all of our exclusive ones. They all look like Mickey ones. Unfortunately, my Mickey has a bunch of black scratches across his face, which I don't know how that happened because there's no black on the inside of this. It's just cardboard. So I have no idea how that happened. I guess that happened in factory and they just missed it in quality control. It looks like I've got a bunch of red marks across Pete's face too. I don't know what they do, like let children color all over them in their factory and then send them out. No, um, I don't know. I don't know how this happens. I didn't play with any of these yet. You saw me struggle to open this set of Nightmare. Look at all these blobs of glue. This is where the problem came in. Look at these huge blobs of glue. Anyway, I'm gonna get these exclusives out and show them to you. And then we will of course open all the doors as well. So this is gonna be a struggle. So give me a moment here. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, the trick is that you want to hit, you want to stick your finger in just below the character and hope your fingers are small enough. And then you can kind of pop it out like that. That's how you're supposed to get these characters out. So I'm going to put this aside for a second and show you guys all of these exclusives in the car. Yes! The car has wheels that actually roll. I want all of the vehicles, guys. I don't know how many vehicles there are. I think like 13 to 15 or something. I've got red scratches on my vehicle too. Anyway, I don't know how many vehicles there are because I haven't been able to find any of the vehicles set near me at any of the stores. I might, I might have to just like order them all from Amazon. I don't know, you guys. It's been really upsetting because I can't find anything. I have this car, so that's really fun. I love that. Okay, the cars are going to be so fun. I hope they come out with planes and boats and all sorts of epic stuff because, yeah, just, yes, just, yes, yes. And bring back our stackable houses. Okay. Here is the taxi car. This is the exclusive vehicle that you can only get the taxi car in this set. The little checkered lines across here, the black and white checkered lines that are on the side and on the back are actually painted on, which is super nice. Thank you, Just Play, for making that not stickers because if they're stickers, they come off really easily, especially because they're real thin and tiny. And they also come apart when you're trying to clean the toys or do other stuff like that. It's just... It's not nice to have the stickers. It does have nice big rollable wheels on here and it's got a little heart that has a, a, a D in it that's in the same font as Dorables so it does show that it comes with Dorables. It looks like on the seat right in the center of the seat there is a little peg and I don't know if anyone remembers this from the early series but I believe in the first gosh I don't know three or four series possibly only three uh the Dorables would come with stands they were little clear circles that had the Dorables logo on it and a little peg. Then you could stand up the Dorables. This was not really that useful because all of the Dorables stood on their own. So 
I'm pretty sure that I threw out like all of my stands. I might have them in a baggie somewhere so, some or something, but I mean, they were just not really that useful. But the good news is that means that all of the figures, at least in those first couple rounds, I have to check my other series, they have holes in the bottom of their feet. So you can see all of these now have holes in the bottom of their feet. So you can put any of the characters that you want inside this car. And I'm sad because it looks like you might even be able to fit like two characters in here, which I feel like you should because it's a taxi car. That's the whole point is someone drives someone else around. So I do wish it had two pegs so that I could put my angry Donald Duck taxi driver in the front. And then I could put another character in that he is actually driving around. So the good news is I might be able to fit one maybe it's real tight maybe if i have like a really thin character like mickey maybe no so they didn't make it big enough and i i, I kind of wish they had thought that through especially for this particular car because the other ones it doesn't matter if there's only one one character in it but for this one i really would have liked to have seen two possibilities so we could have someone being taxied around now we can play with it as a taxi car that sort of thing so we can't do that and that i feel like really a limit it really limits the imaginative play that you can have with this taxi car. So that's my biggest problem with it is that you can only fit one character and they didn't they didn't quite think that all the way through. That being said, I appreciate that it's not stickers, it's paint, and I do love the luggage on the back here that's kind of stacked in. I mean, it doesn't make sense again because he can't car cart anyone else around, but it's still super cute. They could have, I feel like, made the front smaller and just like cut the hole larger or made the, you know, car a little longer something so that it it worked and I'm a little sad. Oh hey, the light the license plate also has the little heart with the D. Is there one in the back? There is sadly not one in the back, so that's interesting. And there are lights it looks like on the back of the car, but they were never painted in. They've just got the texture on it. So it was painted on the front but not on the back. So that's really interesting design choices on that. Hopefully we will see another series of these cars and they will start to get better and that sort of thing. So I don't know. And this is the only car that I've seen, so the other ones probably I won't have the same complaint about the two pegs, and so I'll probably like them more just be, just on that principle. Although now I really want to see a limo. When are we getting the set that comes with a limo and is just like super long and we can put like five characters in it? Just yes! I want to see that. Okay. I'm sorry. I know I've been so babbly today. Let's check out our New York Minnie Mouse. This is her little Statue of Liberty outfit. She's got the little torch. She's got the little crown. Super cute, you guys. What's in her other hand? Looks like a little book or something is on her other hand. Uh, in her other hand, sorry. So there's Minnie Mouse. Then we've got Mickey Mouse. He's got a red apple on his shirt. You know, New York, the big apple city. And it says NY in it. It's a white, white t-shirt. The letters are, the letters or text or whatever are white, and then his apple is red. He's got a little blue hat. It looks like a baseball hat. It's, it's gonna be hard to make the camera pick this up. There it is. Okay. And then I guess just the red, the red pants that he normally wears. You can see his little tail in the back here is actually embossed in here. Pretty cute. So there's Mickey and Minnie. Then we've got Goofy. He's got a... <laughs> Looks like a fishing hat or another type of bucket hat and a piece of pizza. So he's got the New York style pizza, which just looks like a normal piece of pizza right here. So that's kind of sad, but that's okay, I guess. Super cute. So there's that one. Then we've got Donald. This is our taxi driver. I love his facial expression. He has like so much road rage and he picked the career of taxi driver. So I think that's beautiful. Then we've got Pluto. Pluto it looks like he... I, I don't know if he actually stole this hot dog. You know how they always have those shows where the the dog uh, grabs a hot dog and runs and it's the whole hot dog chain. Um, I think I'm thinking of the movie Oliver, but it does look like he's running. See how his ears are back and everything? So maybe he nabbed this. I don't really know. It's pretty cute though. Maybe he's just hanging out in the wind. I don't really know, guys. He doesn't seem to have the whole chain, which would have been really cute. Uh, this would have been a good time to throw the Oliver stuff in. I'm pretty sure Oliver and Company was Disney, right? Gosh, now I'm second-guessing myself because I haven't seen any adorables of it. All right, and then we've got Pete, and this is our hot dog salesman, and he's got the hot dog inside the bun, so like, more than likely I feel like he, like, grabbed it out of Mickey's bun or something and then ran. I don't know. So here's Pete. Super cute. He's got a little 
uniform on. It's a white and green hat, and then he's got a green apron. It looks like maybe a blue or gray. Maybe it's not a bow tie. Maybe that's a collar. It might, might just be a shirt collar. And he's got khaki pants, white uh, button-up shirt kind of thing. So cute, cute, cute. Those are all of the exclusives for this set. And then we've got a whole bunch of the Let's Go ones. So just as a reminder here, here are the Let's Go ones that we can get from several different getaway zones or whatever. Oh, uh, I don't know if there's a code on this. I meant to tell you guys. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the code is 0872SK01. And then there's another code under here, 44588. So I don't know if any of those are codes. Usually it's a code piece at the end. So maybe this is box one and there may only be a couple of codes, maybe like four or so. I, I don't know. I think that the set, the ultimate figures for series seven, I want to say they had A, B, C, and D. So maybe this has like one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five. Anyway, set one. So there you go. If that helps someone. Okay, door number one. Let's get it open. Who is it? Oh. Okay, well, I don't know, you guys, but this is interesting because now it comes in a dark purple bag. These are gorgeous. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't come in the normal bags. I'm trying to remember. I think it was yellow bags that the Let's Go characters come in, so I don't know why this is in purple. Because it's not an exclusive, so... Ooh, all right, I got a Clarabelle cow. So I am really excited about this because I think it was series five, maybe? Series five or six, I believe, that had a Clarabelle cow. It was either four, five, or six, somewhere in there, had a Clarabelle cow, and it's like one of the only two or three figures that I'm missing from the set. So I'm really excited. Now I don't need it because I have a Clarabelle cow. She is, I... <laughs> I don't want to say dressed as a milking maid, but maybe that's actually what she's supposed to be, and that's why that's so funny. I don't, I don't know, you guys. Let's see where she's from. I got, I got a, okay. Clarabelle Cow is, maybe this is an international getaway? Yes, okay. Oh, it doesn't say. And it's funny because it's on a white background, so you can't tell that she's got this big pointy hat. But yes, definitely looks like Milking Maid or, you know, maybe from like Holland or something. I really wish they put the countries for the international ones, but yeah. Super cute, and she's wearing um, a blue dress and a white apron. So super cute. A very Belle style from Beauty and the Beast, which is cool. Okay. So that one is open. Oh, I guess maybe I can, like, leave it open so you guys know that I opened it. So I know I opened it. You know, all of that. There we go. All right, next door. <laughs> next door. Next door to it because it was the next... Anyway. All right, we got another purple bag. This is so weird. Oh, I don't know if there were numbers on these bags either. I guess not. I don't see any. So the other... Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. So the Clarabelle cow was number 28. This bag is number seven, zero, zero, seven. So it's probably James Bond. I'm just, I'm just kidding, guys. Oh, yes, I got Stitch. Oh, I got a snowy getaway one. I don't know what my problem is, but I love the snowy ones. Maybe because I live in Louisiana. So, like, I just don't get to experience seeing that kind of stuff very often. It's like once every 12 years that it snows here or something insane. Okay, so I got Stitch. He is dressed in a red sweater with a scarf. He's got white gloves on, with, and he's got, like, the fluffy edge that's either the edge of the coat or the edge of the gloves. I don't know, but it's cute. And he's got a snowball in his hand. I'm, I'm going to show you him up close. But first, let me see where he came from. I guess Snowy Getaway. Where are we? Okay. This is the common one. Did I tell you? Okay, Clarabelle Cow is actually a rare one. So that's cool. The very first one I got was a rare one. Stitch is common, but I don't have him yet. So that's really exciting. Okay. Here he is up close. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, next one. This is really hard to find the numbers that are printed black on dark purple. This is number four, it looks like. Number four. It feels big. This is a big character. All right, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Yes, I got Camping Mike, and this is the best thing ever. Okay, I'm pretty sure his backpack is like the same thickness as he is. Okay, so this is probably from the Camping Getaway. It is... Doo -doo -doo. It is actually a common one. Cool. I, I don't know why I need like 50 of these, but I just kind of love it. I don't know. 
All right, so we've got green Mike Wazowski with his big old blue eye. This is kind of fantastic to have Mike as adorable because he's got the one big sparkly eye. So that, that's kind of cool. And you can actually tell the sparkles and everything. But he's also got this dark green pack on it. And it's a backpack. And then on top of that is like a sleeping bag that's strapped in and there's another pocket around it. But we've got textures of the actual sides of the pocket, the closure pieces of the pocket, the stitching on the sides. I mean, it's actually pretty well done. He actually does have a little bit of a band around his hat, which unfortunately is not very well textured or colored. And he's got like two pieces of paint that are coming off. I don't know why he's doing that. A little something on his eyeball too that's messed up. No! He's got a, like a... A piece of the plastic is messed up and sticking up and sharp right in the center of his eyeball. So goodness, this is a common one, so hopefully I can get another one that's not an issue, but... Also, interestingly, his, his arms are kind of around his backpack straps like this, and there's a piece inside of his body that's a little hole, which I think is where his arm's supposed to go, but it didn't quite fit, and so you can just kind of see this hole just hanging out here. <laughs> Trying to get it at the right angle so you can see it. See the hole? Yeah, so that's a little bit weird. It's not on the other side, just on that one side. But other than that cute, what's- oh! Oh, those are his horns! Oh, I'm sad they did him green then. They should have painted his horns white. His horns were white, right? So, a, a little bit disappointed in the coloring on this. So, like, a little bit more attention to detail would have been really nice for these. And they used to do a lot more detail. Surprisingly, there was more detail on the smaller version of the figures that Moose Toys released. But then Just Play came in and they made them bigger and I thought, yay, we can get more detail. But instead, we seem to have less detail and less of the quality control on the details. So, disappointed, Just Play. Get your stuff together, you know? Okay, here is another door. Come on. This is... Twenty-five? Tag number twenty-five? This also feels like a big character. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh, Marie. Oh, this is gorgeous. I like this Marie. This is even better than the other Marie. And she has a cowgirl hat. Yes. Okay. I She had a pink hat on and it was hard to tell in the picture what it was supposed to be. But let's see where she's from and what her rarity is. Okay. She's common as well. But yeah, I thought it was actually going to be one of those uh, French hats. But it's a cowgirl hat, which is even better. And she's got a little bandana tied around her neck as well. Looks like the bandana is a brighter pink, more of the Marie color pink that I would associate with her. I feel like the hat is a slightly off color pink. I don't know how to describe this, but it doesn't go as well with Marie. It's a different different shade. And I don't know my colors well enough to tell you what, but more orangish, I guess, than pink. Which is kind of weird. I kind of wish they'd done it the same color as her bandana. So... Other than that, she's super cute. She's got a little tufts of fur on the side. Her inside of the ear is painted pink. Even the inside of her mouth is painted pink, and she's got a little pink nose. I think, actually, possibly her nose color is the same as the hat, which is, I guess, cute. Okay, I like that better than I thought I would. Okay, so she's common. All right, bottom row here. Oops, I just pushed the whole door in. I didn't need to do that. There we go. Okay, guys, this is number 14. Who is it? Who is it? It is Mickey. Oh, this is a different. Oh, I guess because we had the Mickey and friends that were exclusives to New York. So there are other Mickeys, but I want to say I already got a Mickey in the Let's Go series. That was a cotton candy. So we're there. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. There is a Mickey Mouse in every single one of these getaways. This is highly disappointing. Why? Why? There are enough characters. Like, get new characters. There are one, two, three, four, five, six different Mickeys in this set. That's insane. There's only 40 to collect and six of them are Mickey. But anyway, this looks like maybe a farmer Mickey. He's wearing a sweater and jeans and he's got um, a beanie looking hat with a fluff ball on top and he's holding like a flower pot? I I don't know what this is supposed to be. It is in Snowy Getaway. What is he doing with a flower pot if he's in a snowy place? Guys, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's apparently a rare one, so they thought it was a really cool one, so they marked it rare. I don't, 
I'm not overly impressed by this. I don't get it. I don't understand the design, but maybe just me. I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments what that was supposed to be about, but okay. I don't usually like carry around flower pots in the snow. I don't, I don't know guys. On vacation? Anyway. Here's another one. I'm, I'm like really excited for them to make a purple door like this, but now I guess they can't because they already did these packages. I don't know. This is number 39. And it, oh, yes! Okay, guys, I have so much trash. These, these make so much trash, you guys. I got Buzz Lightyear, and this is so cool and also so poorly painted, so there's that. But, um, okay. This is an ultra rare from the Tropical Getaway, and he has got a lei on, a pink lei, which is the flower necklace thing that they do in Hawaii and other countries, other tropical countries like that and sunglasses and this is so cute y'all i'm sad because all of his chest armor and the little the stripes that come down from the chest armor are not painted on him unfortunately which is a little bit sad as in the finger joints the back of his gloves there's a lot of details that were left out of him that being said there is some green on him and it looks like all of the green is metallic so that's interesting he's got like some weird blemish on the back of his head here I don't know if you can see it, like, it looks like a big glue spot and it doesn't come off, but it's very textured. I might actually have them try to replace this one because it's an ultra rare, but I love this design. Okay, a little bit sad about the sunglasses. You can very obviously tell that they put a purple hunk of plastic that was the sunglasses and then tried to paint over it and it didn't go well. They also tried to put some glitter in it. Which, the good news is the glitter doesn't come off, but the bad news is they only did the top instead of the sides too. So they just turned out really weird, in my opinion. But if you can see, like, all of the sides are still this weird purple with some green hanging over the edge. I don't, I don't know what they were doing, but they could have done a better job, at least specifically on, like, the ultra rare characters. That being said, this is so cute. I'm very excited. I love Toy Story Hawaiian Vacation. Unfortunately, this is not based off of Hawaiian Vacation, which would have been a really good opportunity to put all of the Toy Story Hawaiian Vacation ones in here. <gasps> Guys, I just had a thought. What if they start making collection peaks of each of the Toy Stories so we can have like a Toy Story, we can have a Toy Story small fry and it will have like all of the little Burger King to, oh dude, yes. Yes, we can have a Toy Story Hawaiian vacation. I'll have all their little Hawaiian costumes. We can have a Toy Story that time forgot, which will have so many characters I am going to lose my mind over. Uh, I mean, dinosaurs in armor is just awesome. I, I need to get to work on the live action Toy Story that time forgot. I am so distracted. Let's open some more adorables. Okay, these doors are going poorly, but I will get the bag out. Maybe. Okay, this is bag number 10. Who is it? 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 I'm so excited about Buzz! Oh, I have two Toy Story ones now. Oh no! I got another Rex! Okay, so this is the other Toy Story one that I was telling you guys I have. This is Rex with the canteen. He is a camping one. This is, I believe, a common, but let me check. Yes, this is a common one. So I guess I should have expected to get two, but... I think Dustin will probably want one, so I will probably give him one of mine, but that's cool. Okay, so that's my, is that my first double that I'm getting? Oh, goodness, this is my second pack and my first double? Oh, okay. I will try to stay calm. Okay, number 40. It's the last one. It feels big. Ooh. Oh, yes. Okay, so this is the other thing I was curious about. They do have some amusement park ones, and they they come in cars, but it's not like this. Not like this vehicle car. It's like um, an amusement park roller coaster car. That's what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, actually, this one looks like a bumper car, which is even better. All right, so we've got Alice in her little bumper car. She is... Oh, I was on the right page. Oh, she's a common one. So we might be able to get a bunch of these. And we'll just put all these Alice's in a row and pretend it's a, a roller coaster. Anyway, oh, if they make a roller coaster car, like maybe the Tinkerbell one is a roller coaster car instead of a bumper car. That would be so awesome. And if it had a little hook on the front and a little 
circle on the back and then you could actually connect them together please just play please make this and then make us be able to put the characters in so yeah i want these roller coaster cars and then you can start making us roller coaster tracks and we could we could probably play with this on hot wheel car mats i am so excited about what we can get to with doorbells in these vehicles but yeah here is her up close Okay, guys, two more. Let's see who we got in here. Alright, this is bag number five. Oh, it's Sully! Okay, cool. So, uh, the Sully from Series 8 is actually metallic, but this one's way better. So, this is like a summer Sully. Let's see what it is. Tropical getaway, maybe? Yeah, okay, so this is actually a common one. He is in a red bathing suit, so wedge red swim trunks he's actually a lifeguard it looks like because he's got the silver whistle around his neck he's got sunglasses on and guys this is so cool so since he has sunglasses you're like oh no you can't see his eyes but it's fine because they made the entire sunglasses that's that inner sparkly so it's not glitter that comes off but it's definitely like the glitter inside and that's actually really fun looking so i love that guys i'm a little sad that we didn't paint his horns the appropriate color it's a little hard to see any spots on him Okay, it looks like he's got two on each arm, and that's it. Like, they really just haven't done a great job with painting it, I guess. So, yeah, uh, the spikes on the back of his tail that go all along his back and his tail aren't painted. There was a little disappointment on that. I also believe that his eyebrows are supposed to be a different color. I think they're a darker blue or something, and they're not painted. So, a little bit disappointing with the disappointed with the paint job of it, but the design was cool. And I like this Sully, I think, better than the Series 8 one. All right, last one who is it okay it is bag number 12 and it is oh no another duplicate guys i only have opened this box and one other box of five and i already have two duplicates this is awful okay so i have an extra rex and an extra mickey which actually this is kind of disappointing because this is the third Mickey in this box. There are 40 characters to collect plus these six. So there's 46 different characters that I could have gotten. Well, there's 46 different figures that I could have gotten. Six of them are Mickey and this box had three different Mickeys. That's insane. I'm not that into Mickey. I don't need 400 Mickeys. That's insane. But here's another Cotton Candy Mickey. He is a common one and he is from, I think maybe Amusement Getaway? He is from Amusement Getaway. So here he is up close. It is the same one that I showed you earlier, but I'll show you anyway. All right, so a little bit sad. I mean, with 46 different ones, I don't know how I already have two duplicates and that's kind of disappointing. I hope that the odds aren't that bad. I hope it was just a really bad fluke of luck on that. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys have opened a bunch of these and you know about the rarities of these. Let me know what you guys thought of this. Are you planning on buying it? Did you buy it? Is it worth it for these six exclusives and the exclusive vehicle? Let me know all of that down in the comments below. Overall, um, I don't know. I guess kind of. I mean, for me, it was worth it because I found this set before I could find a bunch of the Let's Go sets or the vehicle sets. So I really wanted it to have at least a vehicle in case we never get vehicles down here. And I also wanted it because I still don't have a lot of these Let's Go. So I was hoping they would be new ones. And for the most part, I guess, most of them weren't duplicates. The Mickey set is fun. I'm not super into Mickey or New York, so I'm not like, oh, I need to have it. But it was a fun set to find. It was a fun packaging. I think I had a good time doing it overall. So let me know what you guys thought of it. Are you buying it? Do you have it? Is it for you, for a kid, for a collector? Let me know down in the comments below. Was it worth it for uh, the exclusives that you get in here and the regular, I guess, ones that you get in here? I think it's 16 figures and a vehicle. So was it worth it? Are you going to get it? So for you, for a kid, for a collector, let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the content that you saw today and you haven't had a chance yet, please, please, please take a moment pause the video and hit that red subscribe button down below. That's completely free for you guys to do. It takes just a moment of your time, doesn't flood you with notifications or anything of that sort. 
but it really helps support us and encourages us to keep posting awesome videos like this. If you would like to also be notified when we post videos, hit the subscribe and then the notification bell that will send you notifications whenever we post. We're always posting new content weekdays at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, except Toy Story Thursdays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So be sure to join us again soon, and until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.